Nicola Sturgeon's independence dream was shattered after Scottish citizens were warned their annual utility bills could soar by £189 after breaking from the UK. The leader of the Scottish National Party SNP, sent a warning to Prime Minister Boris Johnson for picking a fight with the democratic wishes of the Scottish people over a second independence referendum. Mrs Sturgeon said another vote is the will of the country and reaffirmed that it is a matter of when not if. It comes after Mrs Sturgeon, who served as Deputy First Minister during the 2014 vote, had her independence dream shattered when the country voted to remain part of the UK. Electricity formed a key part of the battle as Scotland boasts one of the most favourable conditions in Europe for harvesting wind energy. The Scottish Government's independence proposal stated that a single UK-wide market for each of electricity and gas should continue. But the government argued that it saw no basis to justify continued cost-sharing of a single integrated market and stated the arrangement could not continue in its current form. They warned that household energy bills would increase by at least £38 per year and annual household bills could increase by up to £189 if the full cost of supporting renewable energy projects fell to Scottish bill payers. At the time, the Scottish Government's former Secretary for Rural Economy, Fergus Ewing, warned that England's lights would go out without Scotland's renewable energy. The SNP said that a single UK-wide market for each of electricity and gas was the only logical step forward. They also argued that their policies to tackle fuel poverty and improve energy efficiency would be funded by the Scottish Government, rather than energy companies. They stated that this would allow companies to reduce bills by around 5%, or approximately £70, every year, but, according to a report by Herbert Smith Freehills, the UK may not be as reliant on Scottish energy as Mr Ewing insinuated. They said in April, in 2019 Scotland produced 15% of the UK's electricity, but only used 10% of it, while England used 82% having produced 73%. More importantly, net exports from Scotland are largely a function of its high proportion of wind power capacity so only when these are generating electricity Scotland exports. At such times the main impact on the rest of the British market is for gas-fueled power stations and other flexible capacity to reduce generation.